Hi everyone, welcome to the Random Home Gadgets channel. Fitcam X integrated dash cams are innovative OEM look dash cams. These dash cams integrate seamlessly with the rear view mirror modules and look like it's a part of your car's original component. In this video, I will show you how to install it on my Toyota Corolla in my review of this dash cam. First, let's talk about the main features. OEM look with seamless integration. 4K resolution, easy to control with a phone app. The current price is listed at $189 for the front cam only and $288 for both front and rear cam. If you use my referral link and discount code below, you can get 5% off your order. The discount code is stackable with any current promotions on the website. There are wide selections of models to fit your specific car. If you're not sure which model to buy, you may contact customer service via live chat for assistance. Now let me open it and take a look. Installation. Step 1. Install the front dash cam. Remove the original module cover. Transfer the clips. To the dash cam cover. Plug the original power cord. Install the power diversion cord. Connect the wire to the dash cam. Install the dash cam module. Tuck the wires and replace the back cover.
Step 2. Install the rear dash cam. This is optional. Place the rear cam at the rear windshield, either with 3M tape or screws. Be aware that if the wire is too close to the car antenna, it can cause interference with your radio stations. You may use a ferret cord to reduce the interference. Connect and conceal the wires. Step 3. Access the dash cam via app. Connect to the Wi-Fi generated by the dash cam. the FitCam X app. Tap the Access FitCam X button. Here is the live preview page. Tap the switch icon to switch between picture and picture view, front view only or rear view only. Tap the recorder icon to pause or resume recording. Tap the camera icon to capture a snapshot image. Tap the mic icon to turn on or off audio recording. Tap the full screen icon to view at full screen. You may also use the switch icon, camera icon, recorder icon, and mic icon in full screen view. Tap the camera file icon to see all the recording files and snapshots. Video recording is selected, you have the options of download, video screenshot, or delete. Once the video is downloaded, you also have more options, including edit, share, save, or delete.
when a snapshot is selected, you have the options of edit, share, save, or delete. Now let's take a look at the app settings. In the sound recording settings, you may turn on or off sound recording. In the image resolution setting, you may set the image file size for snapshot image. In the video resolution setting, you may see the video resolution and no option to change the resolution. In the loop recording option, you may change the duration of each small clips. In the exposure compensation setting, you may adjust the camera exposure according to the lighting. In the time watermark setting, you may turn on or off time watermark. In the driving collision sensing setting, you may adjust the collision detection sensitivity. In the language setting, you may change the default language. In the parking monitor collision detection setting, you may adjust the collision detection sensitivity. This function is only available to certain models and need to tap the power source from the car's fuse box. In the general setting, you may change the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, see the firmware version, format SD card, and reset to default setting. Here are my final thoughts of this integrated dash cam. The pros are OEM look, clean, non-cluttering, and no attachment to windshield. Easy to install. Connect straight to your phone via Wi-Fi. Great customer service. The cons are no native display screen. Unable to transfer to different car model since each dash cam model is specific made for certain car model. Rear dash cam may interfere with radio signal. This is common in all rear dash cams. Overall, the FigCam X integrated dash cam is a great dash cam with clean OEM look, full recording function, and convenient accessibility. It's definitely worthwhile to look into when you're shopping for a dash cam. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. See you next time!